I'm here at West End City Park in Katy's, Kentucky, of course. And I just wanted to show you this area and I was told that they used to do reenactments here of the Civil War and there's all kinds of fun activities here, Easter egg hunts, if you're around for Easter or religious or whatever you want to join in. But it's got a lot of uh, picnic tables, nice areas, good place for you to take kids because it does have a good size jungle stuff, gym, whatever you want to call it, I guess. There is a nice duck pond, which I did see ducks in it the other day. And then another cool thing is right here, there is the start of a hiking trail that's about five miles long. And I did that the other day because it was a little bit nicer than today is. And it, it kind of kicked my butt, but I did that at a good level. But just another cool, fun stop where you can go, you know, if you're traveling or living full time with children, and you got to find those good activities for kids to do where they could be social with other kids you know take them to the city park and you know if they find kids that you don't want your kid around go to a different park you know it's just that easy and i see how people are adjusting online and it's pretty cool so we're going to check out the rest of katie's and there's a lot of cool stuff that I've done the recordings on that you're really gonna enjoy. So make sure you watch the whole video, click like, it really helps me out. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my videos as that really helps me out. Getting closer and closer to that 1000 subscriber mark I need to get to. So if you can help me out with that, I'd really appreciate it. Well, I'm here in Katy's, Kentucky, and I'm here with Bill, yep. and we're at the Visitor Center, and he's going to explain what they have here. They've been really nice to get me to the more popular sites and everything, so that way we can make a nice quality video and you can see all the good stuff. Yeah, well, Bill, tell me about the place. Well, we're glad to have you. This is a, a building that is operated by the Cadiz Tree County Tourist Commission, and we also host the Chamber of Commerce office here, and then the Economic Development Commission office. So we're like a one-stop shop. You can come into our area and uh, you know pick up information on any of that. But we keep uh, this facility out by I-24 open 24 four hours a day. It's a lobby that has all the information a traveler would need while they're out and about. So a lot of times people are coming, they want ideas, and that's what we try to do. We fill their heads with ideas. And you know, there's lots of things to do here in Cadiz and Tree County. And, and of course, we're fortunate to have uh, the lakes, you know, Land Between the Lakes even. I don't know, where'd, where'd you go, Shrek? I was in Land, of, uh, Land Between the Land Lakes Between last, the lakes? yeah. yeah. But see, we're, we're lucky, you know, the majority part of Land Between the Lakes, uh, where the visitor center is, and nature center all that's in in our county our home county here mm -hmm. but we also have lake barkley state resort park i don't know if you've been down there i right? have not been there yet we're oh, trying man. to get there with this video yeah yeah beautiful beautiful construction of the building it has i think a little over seven and a half acres of glass just on, on the main building floor wow and it's in, in the uh, restaurant is called windows on the wall and that's what you are you're you're right on the lake. Well, one thing I thought that was really great about this place, and I noticed it a couple times when I stopped by for us to do this, yeah. is that when you pull up here and you go up to the door, you know, obviously everybody knows we're going through the pandemic right now. And, you know, social distancing, a lot of businesses are not open to the general public. But even if you just need Wi-Fi right on the door, they've got a sign saying their Wi-Fi password. Right. So that way we're taking care of all the tourist needs right. and everything. Real close to a lot of RV parks. It's a really beautiful area. And I've been coming here and just stopping here to use the bathroom even for about a month now. And I've been really impressed with it. It's a, you know, th there's lots of things to, to see and do. You know, we have a, a quaint, a historic antique district that's, that's downtown. We're, we're right on the Little River, which flows into Lake Park. Okay. So that provides a lot of fishing opportunities just right here, almost in Cadiz. And then we've been working on a project and right now we have two kayak launching ramps. One is at the West Cadiz Park, which is down down in Cadiz, and then about a, about three hours uh, kind of north is another launching ramp. It makes you a good little trail system. And there there at the West Cadiz Park, I mean, public restrooms there. There's picnicking. There's a playground there's you know hiking little walking trails around but you'll go down there and you always have to take you a, 
Make sure you have a piece, piece of bread or a piece of the sandwich because you have to feed the ducks. Oh, yeah. That's the fun. Ducks. I did that as a kid. The and ducks that's a and lot the geese. Fun. That's right, man. Because they, yep. will, they will spot you when that vehicle makes that turn down there around the little boat launching. Oh, yeah. They know. Yeah. There's like, hey, there's a new guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, All right, so kayaking, you said? Yeah, fishing? Yeah. What are some other great things to do around? Well, I love that kind of yeah. stuff. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we, we have lots of hiking, biking trails here. We have one that's in, in town, which is the old wreck. Uh, rails to trails program really? was, where it was a railroad bed where the railroad used to go is now where there's a blacktop walking biking trail that's awesome it's, it's just it's, a nice paved yeah. trail so it's, you could even go rollerblading on it too i know a lot of people travel with their kids yeah. and everything and sometimes when you're living full-time in a camper it's hard to find good activities that's right. not everybody can is a millionaire where they yeah. can spend tons of money for their kids to have fun but get them on rollerblades bicycles yeah. on good trails like that yeah. that's great yeah. and these things are free and and it's great to uh, uh, be able to come out and, and utilize different spots here in Cadiz. Now, just right if you're if you go out out on uh, 68 our main roadway here, just about 300 yards on the left, you'll notice a big locomotive. Okay, that was part of the Cadiz Railroad. Okay, and there's a log cabin there, and all that we put uh, picnic tables there and trash cans. We offer people that are traveling a place to go up there. They they can unwind, they can relax, eat their lunch or dinner out of out there on the picnic table. Kids are always just so interested in the train and, and you can get real close and touch it. And it's just really cool. So and I got a funny know, story about you know that because I mean? you mentioned, I, I love the idea of picnics. I have a picnic basket, yeah. multiple ones. Actually, I've got one even for when I go motorcycle riding. It's a backpack. Yeah. And a friend of mine, I said, let's go have a picnic. And she's like, like to eat? Like outside? Yeah. And I was like laughing because I'm like, yeah, you're from California. You've never been <laughs> on a picnic. Now she takes her son on picnics that, all the time because yeah. she loves it. Picnic so anytime you can go have a picnic, it is a blast. Kids love it. Yeah. I mean, we have access. We've, we've got another wonderful campground, uh, Prizer Point Marina uh, and KOA, their Kentucky Lakes KOA. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they just put in a, a ropes course. They, they have the, uh, oh, I can, I can just see you dangling from the trees. Come on. Oh What's man, I would love, oh, zip line. Yeah, you know that's They right. have a zip line they there? They have a zip line. Oh wow, so I cool. wish my shoulder was healed up better to do that. <laughs> and it goes, you know, right over the water's edge of Bay Area, but they have fishing boats and things to rent there. You know, campground, they even have a, what they call a little, uh, they call them tree houses. Just really rustic little cabins. They don't have very many amenities to them. But it's basically a way to get you out of the out of. Now, the... one of your staff was telling me something just over here by the Chevy dealership. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the gentleman. So the log cabin is the boyhood home of uh, Boots Randolph, which is a very famous uh, saxophone player. Uh, he had a club actually down in Nashville for many many years there on Printer's Alley. He would always come back to Tree County once a year and put on a concert and bring entertainers from Nashville up here to provide a first rate, a country uh, show. And some of the, he had lots of famous guests. And one was the famous ventriloquist that you see now, Mr. Like Dunham. Dunham. Uh, Katie's RV Park, just along I-24. Their nightly rates are $40, and that's a flat rate, fl uh, flat rate and their monthly is 350 utilities are included now this is during the time when we had this nasty snowstorm and cold front you know everybody in texas is really suffering with that horrible weather so the spots are covered up i can't tell if they're gravel or not i'll try to ask katie the manager of the location to see what they are but they do look like they have good nice full hookups good water areas and we'll just take a spin see yep there's Callie she likes it apparently just a nice now this is a newer site so all the electrical is new and I believe that this area is about a year old for what I have heard uh, real convenient to I-24 if you can see in the background here that's I-24 right there I think there's a Cracker Barrel there McDonald's all that right off the exit so it's very convenient to hit up and uh we'll see about their uh wash houses and all that so we're just going to get a quick tour of the bathroom here real nice again of course it's going to be the male's room but very large handicap accessible i like when you can see a nice big bathroom like this because when you go from a camper and you got to go use the bathhouse 
I'm six foot one, a little bit more than that. It's nice to be able to stretch out to take a shower. All right, so we're showing the men's bathroom here, if I can get out of the light there. Very nice. I love this wood style they did for these doors, but it's got nice stalls, everything that you need for shaving, all that kind of stuff. And then the only difference you'll probably see in the women's is women can't use that. All right. Walking into the laundry area, they have washing machines, they've got dryers. It is a little chilly outside, so it's actually pretty nice in here. And let's just see, we get a good view all the way around. Coin operated, it looks like to do a full load of laundry, you're looking at $2.50, can't beat that. I did do Open Signal, the app that I use to see how my phone works, and I do have AT&T service, just to remind you, I'm getting 200 megabits download, 100 upload, with a latency of 67, that is amazing. Now, right now, while I'm recording, they do not have Wi-Fi, but because of the snow, that's the only reason why, and they will be having Wi-Fi next week. So by the time this airs, they do have Wi-Fi, and it's supposed to be good. I did get a look at the gravel spots at Katie's RV park. They are nice level spots. Everything's brand new. Now we have a real treat for all the kids. So if you're traveling with your kids, Katie's RV park is just gonna be an amazing good spot for you to check out. And right next to Katie's RV park is Extreme Entertainment End Zone. They have all kinds of fun activities for kids that we're gonna go and take a look at. Let's see, uh, number of children, 15 to 30 kids. I hope you don't have 30 kids, but that's $10 a child. 31 to 40, 45 kids is $9.50 a child. And if you can get more than 46 kids, it's only nine bucks a kid. That includes lunch slices. Oh, that's the group events. Let's see, they have all kinds of party packages I see here. All kinds of games. They have a concession stand right here we can see. Some games right here, tables to have lunch or whatnot with the kids. Just a nice fun family activity you can do with your kids. And as you can hear, there's quite a couple kids running around here just while they're still getting set up and everything. But this is really walking distance to Katie's RV park. So loads of fun. Okay, now I'm in the back half of the end zone. And right here, they got a claw machine more areas right here with tables and everything for your groups it is noisy because he's filling up the bounce houses and i used to love these things as a kid there's one being filled up right there and i want to go and show you the one that's already filled up it's a smaller one for kids but check that out that is awesome and then here is one massive one i probably won't have enough time to show you that one filled up and it kind of got a little scary because behind me that thing's filling up pretty darn quick so it only takes 10 minutes for them to have this ready really of course there's some arcade games in the back area here too we'll take a look at oh my favorite game i love me some skee ball all right so if you go to that katie's rv park you've got tons of good activities to do with your kids very family oriented here I like it so far. Just wanted to make sure to show how big this one is now that you've seen it deflated. It goes all the way to the ceiling. You can't tell me your kids would not just love a fun entertainment playing at Bounce House. It's great for kids of all ages. If you have ever won anything from one of these games, please post it in the comments. I have spent a good fortune on this dang machine I've never won a dang thing. My kid has though, I never won nothing. We're at No Way Jose Taco Fajita and Burritos. It's a local favorite. Few people told me that it's got really good uh, food. So we're gonna take a look out uh, inside there. And the manager said that he's gonna show us a little bit of the food. So that's gonna be kind of a little different than we've gotten to see, you know, actually get to see the food for real this time. All right, so let's Katie's get in. has the junk fest and it starts at 7 a.m. on Saturdays. Right now I'm not here on a Saturday, but I found the sign 
and what they do is they have all kinds of crafts and stuff like that made by the local people here so that way you can check out and there's just a big parking lot here right now it looks like there's a semi truck here to check out or probably just getting some sleep so you can come out here and check out some of the local goods and support the local community that you're visiting it's always fun to do and you never know you might find something you like if you like old architecture Katie's has some just beautiful sites like this one right here behind me. Well, I just wanted to give you a quick view of what downtown Main Street, Katie's, Kentucky looks like. It's very quaint actually, super beautiful, very well kept and clean. Okay, so I'm in the Katie's Antique Mall and this actually used to be the Katie's Hotel and right as you walk in, you can see they have the original ledger pictures and all the original signatures of people that used to check in here. So we're gonna take a little walk around. They even serve ice cream over here. If you can see the tables, there we go. And just all kinds of really cool antiques. Get around over here. One thing I actually like, and I learned this from my grandfather and my mom, because she has a thing with clocks, is they actually have the really cool clocks that you might remember with grandma, grandpa, maybe your mom and dad, depending on how old you are. I'm not trying to insult nobody, okay? So the staff told me to walk around and just kind of check it out to see if there's anything else. I didn't even get to the second floor and I found a buddy. He's just chilling over here. At least he found a good spot to hang out. I'm on the second floor and I just want to show you some of the cool things they have here. And these are things that you just don't see anymore anywhere. Whether it's a religious icon, old pictures. Yeah, I think I've seen him in a couple Stephen King horror movies. Absolutely beautiful. And that looks like the Red Room. As I walked in, uh, the lady told me that there are some stories of it being haunted and another person wanted to do a show for like Ghostbuster type stuff. I'm not gonna go into that, but apparently here's some more skeletons here and some vintage Christmas decorations, um, all kinds of old gowns. There's a dress that, I don't know how old that would be. And look, from Catch Me If You Can, there's Tom Hanks, ready to fly an airplane. Or no, the other guy, I don't remember his name. Well, from tours I've done before I had the YouTube channel, I know that when they made furniture that's antique like this, they made it to the size of the person that would be using it. So this was a very thin, tall, probably young man I'm guessing by the colors and everything. That's just a quick view of the antique mall here in Katy's, Kentucky. I do highly recommend you go through and check it out. It is very interesting. A lot of cool stuff. I uh, just picked a couple things to show you guys just to pique your interest for it. So if you do check it out, please put something in the comments. Let me know what you think, how you liked it, and make sure you say hi to everybody when you come in. Tell them that you saw them with uh, on Shrek Travel. On one side of downtown, what was highly recommended to check out, there we go, the museum. I guess it's super wonderful and it's got a lot of the history in the area if you're into all that. So I try to cover a little history, a little something different for to pique your interest and make sure you can enjoy your time off the best you can. But again, I love that old school ar architect. I got a little bit of history on Katie's here. And right here we have the Renaissance Conference Center. And then behind me here is the original jail for Katie's Kentucky. And there's a little burger place right down there while you go check out all your shops and everything just if you get hungry. And uh, just right over there, so that way, let's see, right there. That is the antique mall that we just visited. All right, okay, so let's we're here on. at the registration. Somebody's on the phone back there, so I don't want to bother them. And we're going to get a tour going on. But I just wanted you to see how beautiful this 
This is a registration area for a campground. This is really nice. So just like a lot of campgrounds, you know, they'll have a little gift shop. Generally with like a lot of like Camco products or whatnot. But this one's actually got nice, uh, cool little gifts you can see. Of course, it's got, you know, your knickknacks that you need for medication or whatnot. Cool cups. Uh, they did tell me, keep in mind, it's winter hours, so they're not fully stocked up, but uh, this is more stocked up than some of the stocked up pre-pandemic campgrounds that I've been to over the last few years. So we'll check out something else around here. Oh yeah, get your boon skin hat on. So when you pull up, you'll come up to this little sign here under, uh, I guess this would be an awning. And they've got registration, the restaurant over here, real nice and convenient. Um, not too bad. You really could maneuver a big camper around here real easily. That looks like they're giving plenty of room. Uh, I'd be a little worried though if there's a lot of cars parked. So, you know, do your usual and make sure you do a walk around of the area before you pull up. Just to be safe and sorry if you have a huge camper though. Talk about one-stop shopping. They actually have a restaurant here on site for the state park and campground. But we're just gonna take a quick view. It's closed right now, but check this out. This place is just gorgeous, if you can see. I mean, wow. So imagine you're out camping and you go and want to have a nice dinner. You don't really have to leave the campground and look at this beautiful, gorgeous view. Wow. So nightly rates here vary from anywhere from 14 to $26 a night. And there's a lot of amenities with that. Now, if you want to stay by the week, the month, uh, they said to call here at the actual campground and their rates are more negotiable. They'll discount it up and everything to make it more accommodating for you to have your business here. And then they have a reservation site you can go and check out if you just wanted to book that night or two or three or whatever your schedule is. So I'm up at the fitness center and the first thing I want to show you is look at this nice huge uh, pool. Apparently I can't talk right today. And also while you're swimming, just check that out. That is cool. So we're going to check out a little bit more of the fitness center. And then we'll get going on. Uh, I don't know what's next, but it's kind of exciting. I'm, I'm really getting liking this. We're checking out part of the fitness center. And I know I usually take off the mask, but then I'll do that here. So not exactly something I've ever played, but if you know how to play racquetball, it looks cool. I've seen it on movies and stuff. Here's more my cup of tea is the free weights. You know, you don't become a gigantic ogre without lifting a few weights in the army especially. But man, you don't get this at Planet Fitness. You know, what a good deal. So just a little bit more of their fitness center. Not everybody likes to lift weights, but you've got all your cardio equipment. Looks like some leg equipment here and a bunch of other equipment that I don't remember the name to. But hey, you can go camping. And also, just because we're talking about exercise, keep in mind that right here on the property, um, I think it's like right by the entrance somewhere, there is, I believe it's a five mile or six mile trail that you can walk up and down. I do believe it's dog friendly and it is on the All Trails app, so you can get all your information with that. I'm politely being chauffeured around by Michelle and she's like, okay, do you want to see this? Do you want to see this to get on the video? There's a lot of stuff that I'm not going to have time to get on video for you all. But uh, literally, good thing I have the mask on because my mouth was dropped when she goes, do you want to see our airport? I've never heard of a campground having a dang airport. And that was the other thing you said you had, Michelle, too, because I, I got we, fixed on the airport. We have an 18-hole golf course. Okay, an 18-hole golf course, which we know a lot of um harvest hosts will have those and stuff like that but it's still cool if you enjoy golfing you know and you want to get a few holes in it's awesome when you're out there and then they have uh stables and we're going to get a quick interview 
with something else that is really cool that I'm really looking forward to. So I just want to show you real quick some of the roads they have. I believe we're going on the campground, right? Correct. Okay, so this is going down to the campground. Uh, and now if you can see here, look at this, just beautiful views of this lake everywhere. I mean, this is nice, I like it. So we're just gonna do a quick pass by of some of these spots. Look at this, you have a nice deck with a picnic table, I see grills, full water hookup, uh, full electrical, right? Yes. And uh, is there sewage here? A uh, dump station. Okay, so it's dump station, and do you have a honey wagon? No. Okay, no honey wagon. We're looking at some of the campgrounds, and with a discussion with Michelle, if you are in anything over 40 feet, that might be around the max. You might be able to worm your way, depending on how good you are at maneuvering that big beast because I know that Grand RV design there a lot of their newer ones are 43 45 feet um, very nice paved sites I'm just trying to be careful so I don't trip here I'm always falling it seems like but nice paved sites uh, feels very level and it's got the water hookup I saw nice grills and just look at that amazing view I mean, it doesn't get any more beautiful than that. And then one other thing I want to show you real quick is right here, they've got a nice kid play area, swings, beautiful view of the kids. And this definitely seems like an area where you can just kick the kids out of the camper and be like, go play, get out of my hair. And they're going to be safe, which we don't have a lot of places left like that in America. And then I'm guessing this is the bathhouse we'll, which we'll go check out here in a bit too. Okay, so we are in the ladies area. It, you know, usually when I do these, I'm always in the men's area. So we kind of did this a little different this time. No big deal. Uh, okay, nice little shaving area if you're a dude, I guess, but we're in the women's one. Uh, nice, clean, good. You can pop your swamp. And of course, the most important part is the shower area right here so it's got hooks it's got a bench real easy ladies you can shave your legs and everything like that easily so very clean very good we are out of season here keep that in mind but they do have a spot for coin laundry is that a cool sign in the background i hope so all right so if you can see that sign awesome if not sorry but yeah they do have coin operated laundry it looks like two machines for each they're not all out here. It looks like they rotate them out for maintenance, which is always a positive thing. So that way you don't have your clothes being lit on fire or something silly like that. So if you're walking around the campground, go past the horseshoes and you are gonna see an amphitheater where they do all kinds of different shows and Ryan is working on getting more things out here all the time. So I'm here with Ryan and he is the park's naturalist and he's gonna tell you what the heck a naturalist is. Ryan, go ahead. Hey, so um, basically a naturalist is gonna be the person that's gonna have, I guess, some knowledge about plants and animals that are in the area. And uh, well, along with that, I'm also working with the recreation department. And this year we're trying to expand our recreational opportunities. And I'll be down here at the campground pretty much all summer trying to do stuff with kids and adults alike. And uh, matter of fact, we'll even be using our amphitheater and all kinds of stuff around through here, so. Well, that sounds like a blast. Thanks, Ryan. A super cool thing Ryan and Michelle were just telling me about it. As you can hear, I'm trekking through all the leaves here that they're working on getting cleaned up before the season opens. But they have a simple trail from the campground going all the way to the beach. Now, I did a lot of hiking yesterday, so I'm sore. We're gonna get in the car and go there. So that way you can check out the beach. Do keep in mind that last week or two, there was just a ridiculous amount of rain and go figure it's right after the 2021 great freeze that we had across the world and it hasn't been cleaned up yet and just you know keep that in mind that it looks more pretty than we're gonna have on video so there's a bathhouse by the ra uh, by the lake if I can talk uh, has an outdoor shower so if you get your feet dirty whatever now check out this beautiful beach that has been just wrecked havoc 
because of nasty rainstorms and they're going to get this all fixed up and it's going to be real beautiful and ryan's going to tell us a little bit more about it so ryan why don't you tell me something cool all right so really typically the amount of water that you can swim in is a lot more there's a lot more area for that um but right now we're in winter pool and they take the uh, they take it down to an elevation about five feet lower um so once summer gets here the water will be a lot higher and uh there'll be deep water to swim in so sweet and also just so you know you know we're barely not even in the summer at all yet it's what like another month or something away and i'm already seeing boats out there and people like enjoying it i didn't see anybody swimming in it and no i'm not walking out there to go check it out because i'm tired i'm old so give me a break well, i thought i was done with lake barkley state resort and michelle was driving me back to my truck and she goes I was, oh yeah, do you want to see our trap range? Are you kidding me? It is the only one at a state park in Kentucky, but I'm not going to go check it out because again, I'm pressed for time because I'm hungry. Like I said, I'm old, I'm fat. But definitely come out here. You can bring out your guns. Just remember, travel safely with them. If you are going across state lines, please check your state laws for traveling with them. Remember the double lock rule, which is common in a lot of states. If you don't know it, please Google it. Um, but yeah, go out and have some uh, trap shooting. That's always a good time, I like it. So out of just another cool thing here, they have, and if you see right behind me, that's the office building. And I'm standing on a bridge here, but okay, we're gonna turn around here. They have a convention center. And apparently it's super nice. I'm not gonna hike down there and check it out, but it is pretty nice. It is nice enough where Ryan's gonna be having his wedding there soon. I'm at Farrell's and that's basically what it's known for is just being Farrell's. This place was highly recommended to me by over 20 something local people. I mean, if I stop in at a gas station, I ask people all kinds of random questions and this place keeps on coming up. Uh, it does say that it's open 24 hours. Um, I'll have a little thing in there just to let you know if it is. And it's not a very big place, like all the other restaurants we've seen to go to, you know, have lots of room, but it's got a small little dining room. It looks like, oh no, it does not have a drive-in, but just a really good place. Now, when I did walk in, it smelled amazing. 